Yesterday we took uh, my pregnant wife with the second set of twins to the hospital. We had an emergency. So today we went to the hospital with my girls. You can see them over there. One is sitting on this chair and one is here waiting for me to come and give her uh, some snacks. We just got back from the hospital and the thing is today the hospital staff so the thing is, the hospital staff, they forgot to give my wife breakfast this morning. I have no idea why. I was terrified, I was super mad, I wasn't happy because she's pregnant with the seventh set of twins. How could they forget to give her something to eat? Now I am preparing jollof rice. You guys can see this is the rice and I have the this right now. I'm preparing the love rice to take to her because she's super hungry. But I was already there. I made her bread, took some vegetables. I came back home with my girls. This hospital is like 20 minutes drive from here. So we came back home. I want to quickly prepare this jello rice and um, you know, take it to her in the hospital. This is what it looks like in a day of a father home alone with twin girls. You know, with a pregnant wife in the hospital. They are not yet two years old. They are about one year, eight months. If you have a pregnant woman, of course, in the hospital, you know, that you have to take care of as well because the food that this have them in the hospital is absolutely crap, guys. I mean, when my wife was at home, okay, like yesterday, for example, normally I make a good breakfast. You guys have seen some videos on my channel. Stop it. Stop, stop. No, don't do that. No. Sylvia is super stubborn, guys. So... I'm going to reduce this for you. So, but right now at the hospital, they literally give her nothing. Oh my God. Can I make this video, please? Hmm? Wait, I'll come and give you guys some. Just wait. Wait. It is cows, guys. Cows. <laughs> So oh, that's how it is guys. I mean you literally have to be like an octopus, you know, doing everything at the same time. If you are cooking, you are cooking, you are watching over the kids, you know, making sure they are not, you know, doing something that is going to hurt them. So you have to be attentive, you have to be paying attention, and so on and so forth. Mm. That's good. Add a little bit of water and cover it up. I'm preparing this jello fries to take to my wife. She's at the hospital. I don't know if they are going to release her today. They are going to, if she's going to be discharged from the hospital today, you know, if she's going to come back home. She was having some pain uh, at the side of her belly. And I think one of the, you know, um, fetus or one of the babies, head is over there and um this baby is kind of you know pushing our ribs and um so that's led to the pain so that's why i took her to the hospital guys i am looking for sylvia sylvia is not here sylvia <laughs> Oh, all right guys, so uh, it's already seven minutes. So this is how it is guys. It's literally cow So you just have to know how to you know um, plan everything how to schedule everything and um That is it, you know taking care of a pregnant wife making everything for her because she's not super strong right now Cooking for the family making sure we are eating eating healthy. Okay, not just going to restaurant or McDonald's or whatever. No, I I I, I think the last time I was at McDonald's was like four or five months ago and um, I was not there alone I was there with friends you know we were hungry and we just went there to grab something to eat so you have to make sure you guys are eating healthy looking after the kids so that they don't you know injure themselves or do something that is you know crazy or stupid so yeah I'm waiting for my jello fries to be ready let me show you guys what the jello fries looks like at the moment this is it guys that. This is it. I'm waiting for it to dry a little bit. And this is my naughty, naughty girl. <laughs> Always hungry. Always hungry. Never satisfied. This girl. Mm -hmm. And there you have Sophia. God knows what she's doing. Messing around. Making, sh <laughs> Making sure I have more work to do. More work to do later. That's that's their plan. 
making sure that it's never out of something to do. What do you want? You want some water? Hmm? Do you want some water? Okay, take some water. Okay. Thank you. And when you have toddlers that cannot speak, you literally have to be, you know, guessing what what is it they want. If not, no peace in the house, guys. No peace. <laughs> Whatever it is they want, they always cry. If they want to drink some water, they cry. If they want to eat, they cry. If they don't want to pee, they cry. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you are new on the channel. And um, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.